Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Masquerade Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and su subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take the we're going to start off our series on string methods. Python has numerous string methods already built in for us that allow us to modify strings. Basically, we are taking a copy of the string object that we want to modify and um, either saving it to the database or returning it to us. We're not actually modifying the the original string because strings are immutable. All right. Now you may be wondering what a method is. Remember back in the objects tutorial where I talked about every object is an instance of a class. All right. So if we go ahead and create a uh, string and we're going to have a represent that string, we're going to say this is a string. All right. <clears throat> now this string is an instance of the class string. All right, and how can I tell that? Well, I showed you this before. We do type A, and it says it's class string. All right, now the class string has numerous functionalities built into it, and they're referred to as methods. And what these methods do is one, usually one particular function. All right, and a method is a function if you know what a function is. All right, and what it does is it gets go ahead and does something for us. So in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about the capitalized string method. And what the capitalized string method does is it get, it returns a string with a capitalized letter in the front. So T will be capitalized and the remaining um, characters in the string will be all lowercase. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's go ahead and do um, a dot capitalize like this. All right. So we're calling the object via A, and then period, and then capitalize, and then parentheses down here. So this is the method method right here. The period indicates we're calling a method, and then the method's actually right here. All right. So hit return, and we get this is a string. All right. Notice the capitalized T, and then the rest is lowercase. Cool. All right. So that's how we capitalize a string. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this one more time. Let's go ahead and do B is equal to, and we're going to do this is a string. And this is, take notice of the capital I, S, A, and S. All right. Since the capitalized string method, we'll go ahead and capitalize the first letter and make the rest lowercase. So let's go ahead and call B and call the capitalized string method on the object represented by B. There we go. This is a string. All right, cool. All right. So basically we just transformed this string. Um, but we're not actually creating or replacing or modifying the current object. Prove that by calling B one more time and notice we're back up here. All right. If we want to modify this or save the string, we would assign it to a variable. All right, or assign a variable to represent it. So in this case, say we want to be to replace this string because this string's all goofed up. We do b is equal to b dot capitalize like this, and now we call b, and there we go. All right, now we lost that other string that was um, up here. All right. So if you guys have any questions, head over to mastercode dot online and let us know. We'll be more than happy to help you. See you in the next tutorial.